said he was about it, Langley, so I would thought that if, if he comes out, he could, if he got caught at least, I'm saying, by Ortiz. Great left from Ortiz, then shoots left to the body. Good yeah. left hand. Ortiz got caught leaning, then he landed a right and a left combination. Counter right, and then Ortiz drops Maidana. Ortiz gets dropped. Ortiz was down in the Asalas fight back last year. Got up and finished him off, but Victor Ortiz is in trouble. Get Maidana finish him. Ortiz short left. Well, good thing about both guys are punching. I'm going to try to smother this guy and not give him any space while he's hurt. Final seconds of round one. And every punch this round has been a power. What a round! Knocked down, come down. So Madonna was coming in, caught with a right hook that he didn't see because he was delivering his own. Madonna landed a short, straight right hand. Of Ortiz, out of speed. That is a looping yeah. right hand. That's what he's got to do. Right hook to the body by Ortiz. Ortiz trying to load up a power shot. Magdana Kevin right hand. Power with both hands. Ten seconds to go. Steps into the left. Hooks to the body. Magdana trying to fight back. He goes down again. Oscar De La Hoya is motioning to Ortiz. Both guys are so aggressive that they're going in with no mindset on defense at all. It is it's amazing. We've had four knockdowns in two rounds of boxing. Get two counters. Good right hand, though, by Maidana. I mean, Ortiz made a few moves that looked a little defensive from long range. Got hit right on the chops. That shot hurt Ortiz. Eight brothers and sisters. Well, Maidana just missed with the counter right. Got the shoulder of Ortiz. The, the, the punches of Maidana is getting slower and wider now, even though he's punching with a lot of power. But the first round, I gotta tell you, <laughs> you had to score a 10 to 10. I mean, there just wasn't the winner. Both guys scored knockdowns, two knockdowns, and I thought Victor Ortiz still won the third round, even though Marcus Maidana has got that sneaky right hand that he gets in. Dropped in the first round and twice in the second, he hadn't been down 48 thrown. Only 22. You know, a little inexperience at times where you said get that jab going a little bit. Don't play for just the big shots where he kind of drifts away from the game plan. Yeah, but I think he's you know, he's been fighting there. You know, just I just think he needs to box a little bit more. Maidana chasing Ortiz, yeah, shot an I, uppercut inside. Ortiz quit fight. He actually was moving like a boxer without boxing. They exchange big shots and then hold on. Now they're trying to fight out of it. Ortiz is cut on the right eyebrow. The way these guys are going, anybody can go down. Good shot by Maidana. Goal, big right hand by Maidana. Maidana cannot miss with the right hand. Maidana come in here and throw a right hand once again, right on the other. Could have cut his other eye, in fact. So it's been ruled a punch, and Maidana comes right out to start round number six. He pulls back. Ortiz My is, is in figured, trouble. My dad has figured out he can't miss with the right hand and he won't stop throwing it. Ortiz is in big trouble and he goes down. They're going to stop it because of that cut. This is in round number six. My Don is just well, jumping in with punches. Well, he, he took advantage of the situation, but he just picked up where he left off. And now, the interim WBA Super Lightweight Champion, Marcos El Chino.